nice, nice. Steve Farrell. Steve, you're, you've taken on the death penalty in a big way. It's been, um, you know, you have to pick the fights you're going to concentrate on, and I think it's been my, my primary uh, area of activism for, I mean, I got into a lot of anti-war stuff the last uh, 10 years because uh, we found ourselves in, you know, two and a half wars, and, and uh, it's, it's like, uh, I think the, the issues are directly related, though. I think a country that didn't have the death penalty would have never attacked a country that hadn't attacked it simply because someone had to pay. And that whole... I was glad I wasn't in New York City the other night. I was in Chicago the night that uh, Osama bin Laden was killed simply because I... It makes me extremely uncomfortable to see kids jumping up and down chanting USA, USA, USA when anyone dies because my belief is that diminishes us all. That's my problem with the death. I'm not trying to save anybody on death row. I, I just really believe that, that uh, it hurts, it's toxic, and that it hurts all of us. When, uh, when, when, when we teach retribution as a, as a natural legal remedy for violence, and um, I just wasn't, um, you know, culturally raised that way when I grew up and, and the people that sort of helped raise me as, as an activist and an artist. And yet we remain one of the few uh, countries in the world that still has the death penalty, and the American people, many of them, still are not concerned about that. Well, you know, in defense of us, um, we are getting better about it. I mean, the death penalty is dying of natural causes, just like it did in the 60s right now. Uh, just, it's just been abolished in Illinois. Um, I think it's because for, uh, for economic reasons. And the, you know what? It's one of the reasons, um, to, not the fundamental reason I do, but it's a perfectly valid reason to be opposed to the death penalty. Is it's really, really incredibly expensive, and the money could be spent on a lot of things that are a whole lot better for us than, than trying to figure out how to kill our own citizens. Steve Earle, could you wrap up with, well, you mentioned him at the beginning of the interview, and I think a lot of people have forgotten John Walker Lenn. Uh, yeah, and it's hard, because I think it's really important um, that we not forget John Walker Lind. John Walker Lind is, I know he's 29 because my son's 29, and a lot of the reason that this, the song exists is because I have a son exactly the same age. He's in prison. Um, he's in a prison far away from home, which it was sort of promised that he wouldn't be, that he wouldn't be moved out of California, but he was. Um, He's in prison for, he's serving um, 20 years, which he served less than a half of, for something that no one's proven that he did. He hasn't been, um, um, I, we'll never know what the agreement was, but, um, you know, he wasn't even charged with treason or anything else that, 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 um, that carries this long a prison sentence. And, um, you know, he was there because... He became a poster child, and he became something that people that were in power at the time felt like they could do to assuage a huge amount of anger and a huge amount of, uh, it's just this, it's this cycle that we were talking about when we talk about the death penalty. It's that, it's, it's the idea of retribution and revenge, and, and he's there paying for all of, he's there for everybody that we couldn't catch and everybody that we couldn't kill at the time, which brings us to what do we say to his parents now that Osama bin Laden's dead? What do we say to the parents of all of these kids that died in Iraq and Afghanistan now that Osama bin Laden's dead? How do we justify this, you know, all of these guys that, and, and gals that we got out there? It's, it's just, uh, it didn't make sense then, but it, with Osama bin Laden, mm -hmm head on the proverbial platter, it makes even less sense now. So could you end by singing the John Walker yeah. Lynn song, um, uh, John Walker Lynn, who was caught at the Chevron prison in Afghanistan and remains in prison in this country. This is Steve Earle. And I like to blame all the, all these tuning issues I'm having on the TSA. Last open this guitar case. I'm just an American boy. Raised on MTV. I seen all them kids and soda pop ads. None of them look 
look like me So I started looking around For the light out of the dim First thing I heard that made sense Was the word of Muhammad Peace be upon him Thank you so much. Thank you. And congratulations on your new CD, I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive, which comes with the DVD of the making of this film. Yep. And pictures of your baby. Yeah. John Henry. Um, doesn't have a hammer in his hand at the moment, but does clearly have the faders. He was scared to mind the death there, yeah. He was, like, cut up on the console, no doubt about it. And uh, also author of the new book by the same title, I'll Never Get Out of This World Alive. And uh, just about to get an honorary degree, which is where he's wearing his suit today. So congratulations Thank on that you. as well, Appreciate CUNY it. Law School, Steve Earle.